Hi everyone, it's Patricia from the Phoenix Adult Day Center, and what better way to get into the month of October than with October trivia. And so today I have some questions that I want to ask you. Some are going to be multiple choice, some are going to be true or false, or maybe fill in the answer. And you're going to try to see if you can answer these questions. After I have a couple of facts about fall as well to get us into the groove of this season. So let's begin. So to start us off, the first question, which of the following does not occur in October? Is it Halloween? Thanksgiving Day in Canada, German Unity Day, or Chinese New Year? Which of those do not occur in October? So the holiday that does not occur in October, it actually occurs between January 21st and February 20th. What do you guys think it is? The correct answer of what does not occur in October is Chinese New Year. Okay, for the next question, true or false? October was the eighth month in the Roman calendar. What do you guys think about this one? It's asking specifically about the Roman calendar for this. So the calendar we use now, October would be the 10th month. You think true or false that it was the 8th for the Roman calendar? And if you guessed this one correct, you would have said true. So October was the 8th month before January and February were added. The next question goes far back into history, looking at dates. So it says, which October event occurred first? Was it Thurgood Marshall was sworn in as a Supreme Court Justice? Was it Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier? Was it the Erie Canal opened? Or was it Jackie Kennedy married Aristotle Onassis? Which of those October events occurred first in history? And the answer to this one, the one that occurred first, was the Erie Canal being opened. This happened back in 1825. Next in line was Yeager breaking the sound barrier, which was in 1947. Then Thurgood Marshall became a Supreme Court Justice in 1967, so a bit more recent. One year after that is when Jackie Kennedy was married to Onassis. So for the next question, it's another true or false. It says, true or false, the first Oktoberfest festival celebrated the marriage of Prince Ludwig and Princess Therese von Saxon Hildebarga Hassen. Do you think that's true or false? So the answer for this one is that the first Oktoberfest did celebrate their marriage. So it says the festivities in Munich were held from October 12th to the 17th back in 1810, and they ended with a horse race to end all of the festivities. For the next question, Henry Ford introduced the Model T on October 1st of 1908. What color was it? Do you have any guesses for this or do you know the answer? Do you think maybe, what are some of the popular car colors? Maybe white, red, gray, black, green, blue. Those aren't as popular. What, which one of those might it be? So the answer for the first Model T that came out in 1908 was black. Henry Ford had said, any customer can have a car painted any color that he wants as long as it's black. So a famous birthday we have in October is artist Pablo Picasso. So this question says, Pablo Picasso was born on October 25th, 1881. What was his nationality? They give the options of Italian, Spanish, German, or Portuguese. What do you think Pablo Picasso's nationality was? So the answer is Spanish. 
He was Spanish, but spent most of his adult life in France. In the next question, we have a quote. It says, fresh October brings the pheasant, then to gather nuts is pleasant. It's a poem written by Sarah Coolrich. Who is her famous father? Any guesses to another famous Coolrich? So the answer to this one is Samuel Taylor Coolridge is the father of Sarah Coolridge. And he's most famous for his poem, The Rhyme in the Ink of the Ancient Mariner. For the next question, we have another multiple choice. It says, what is the birth flower for October? Marigold, calendula, rose, or marigold and calendula? So for this answer, the birth flower of October happens to actually be both the marigold and calendula. It says a marigold is a member of the calendula genus. This says Ray Branbury published a collection of short stories titled The October Country. He did that in 1955. What else did he write? Did he write War of the Worlds, Fahrenheit 451, The Great Gatsby, or Catcher in the Rye. Which one of those did Ray Branbury publish? So the answer to this is Fahrenheit 451. It is his most famous novel and it was written in 1953. The next question states, what Glenn Miller song begins A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and top the charts during the entire month of October in 1942. Was it I've Got a Gal in Kalamazoo? I Got a Gal in Kissimmee? I've Got a Gal in Topeka? Or I've Got a Gal in Killarney? Which of those is the song that starts with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and it topped the charts in October of 42? So the answer to this one is, I've Got a Gal in Kalamazoo. The Glenn Miller Orchestra introduced the song in the 1942 musical, Orchestra Wives, which starred George Montgomery, Ann Rutherford, and Cesar Romero. So October has Apple Day. And what apple is considered the most favorite snacking apple? Is it the Granny Smith? A gala apple, honey crisp, or the red delicious? Which one of those is considered the most favorite snacking apple? The answer to this one is red delicious. The apple variety was discovered in 1875. And do you happen to know what day Apple Day is? Again, it's in October. It's October 21st is when it's celebrated. So on October 21st, how about we have an apple together? The next question says, what is the largest word you can make using the letters in October? So the letters of October, O-C-T-O-B-E-R. What are some of the words you can make from that? Let's see. Maybe we can make the word cot, C-O-T. Maybe we can make the word root, R-O-O-T. What are a couple other ones you can think of? And what's the biggest one that you can make out of that? The largest word that you can make using the letters in October is reboot. Reboot means to reload or restart the operating system of a computer, and it uses six of the letters. So now for some interesting facts about the fall. It says leaf peeping. Does anyone know what that is? Leaf peeping, it says, happens to be the fall leaf tourism. So people will go to parts of the country where there are vibrant fall leaves and they will go there just to see those leaves. And so that's called leaf peeping. And this business makes over $3 billion in New England. Another interesting fact is that the red, oranges, and yellow colors we see in leaves, well, those pigments are actually there all year round, and those are the actual colors of the leaves. 
in the other times of the year when we see green, it's because of the chemical chlorophyll that helps change the sunlight that hits the plants. It helps to change it into energy. That is what makes the leaves green. So in actuality, they're the vibrant colors that we see in the fall. So the next fact is about migration. It says the monarch butterfly will fly south to parts of Mexico or even to parts of California just for the warmer weather. It says they'll fly at speeds of between 12 to 25 miles per hour and they're the only insects that will travel that far just for the warmer weather. They travel up to 2,500 miles sometimes. So here's a little bit about pumpkins. It says that they're grown all over the world on six of the seven continents. Antarctica is the only one that does not grow pumpkins. And it says the largest pumpkin pie ever made was made in New Bremen, Ohio. Ready for this? It was 20 feet in diameter and weighed 3,699 pounds. And it took days to bake it, but was cut into 5,000 slices when it was finished. Now that is a big pumpkin pie. So for this next fact, it's about Halloween. So it says the candy that's bought for Halloween amounts to over $2.1 billion worth. Now that's a lot of candy too. Another interesting fact we have about October is that the birthstone is the opal and it gets its name from the Latin word opalus, which means precious stone. It's formed in near-surface volcanic rocks, and so in the United States, they can sometimes be found in Nevada, and it's usually black opals that are found there. Um, but other places they could be found are places like Australia, Mexico, Brazil, Honduras, Guatemala. So many places around the world you can find these opals. And so we have a couple of different celebrations for October. It's known as the Country Music Month as well as the Emotional Wellness Month. And some of the special days in October are World Smile Day, which is October 2nd. We have World Teachers Day on October 5th. We have International Chefs Day on October 20th. On October 25th, we have International Artist Day. On October 14th, we have Be Bald and Be Free Day. And so this is a day that celebrates anyone who either by choice or by necessity is bald. And so that's all we have for October facts and questions and then facts about the fall season. And so watch all of our other videos on this channel and we'll see you next time. Bye!